Hello and welcome to all my dear students. This neat selection express batch is specially for the revision in the form of questions. So today I have brought the chapter morphology of flowering plants and in this chapter almost I have taken 50 questions questions which have been asked in your previous neat examination. All these questions are very very important so just stay tuned pay attention and keep listening to all the questions and try to even answer before the ma'am does it right so why are we waiting for let's directly start with the question solving portion now the first question says vexillary estivation is the characteristic of which family so first beta you have to understand what is vexillary estivation. If you remember first of all what is estivation? Estivation means arrangement of sepals and petals with respect to each other of the same whorl. There are four different types of estivation. Imbricate estivation, valvate estivation, twisted estivation and vexillary estivation. Vexillary estivation is a special feature of family Fabaceae that is your P family yes or no and specially in their corolla now how many members are there in Fabaceae there are five members of corolla which are arranged in such a manner that the largest petal which is called a standard or vexillum is placed at the posterior end and this overlaps the two lateral wings in return it overlaps the two smallest anterior anterior keel so this arrangement of petals if it is observed then this is known as vexillary estivation which is a feature observed in fabaceae family so answer will become c clear to everyone any doubts anyone no very good next question is phyllodes are present in so before we you look into the options first le let's try to understand what is phyllode so basically beta phyllode is a leaf modification right which is observed in case of plant called as Australian Acacia scientifically it is called as Parkinsonia now what happens in Australian Acacia beta normally their natural leaves they are small normally their natural leaves are small and short lived so now these leaves are not capable of performing photosynthesis. So the question come if they can't perform photosynthesis. So who is going to do that? Hence the answer is petiole. Beta petiole modifies. Petiole is the stalk of the leaf which modifies itself to perform photosynthesis as as I told you, the leaves are small and short-lived. So this is the petiole which got modified to perform photosynthesis and this is known as phyllode. Clear? So what will be the example? Sorry, what will be the answer? A. Clear? Understood? Shall we move ahead? Okay. Next question. How many plants in the list given below have composite fruit? So, before we look into the options and before we answer the question, we should know what do you mean by composite fruit? See, composite means together. Yes or no? 
सो बेसिकली बेटा देर आर थ्री टाइप्स ऑफ इनफ्लोरसेंसेस रेसिमोज इनफ्लोरसेंस साइमोज इनफ्लोरसेंस एंड सम स्पेशल टाइप ऑफ इनफ्लोरसेंस लाइक हाइपेंथोडियम साइथियम एंड वर्टिकल एस्टर नाउ वेन अ फ्लावर ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू अ फ्रूट देन दैट इज कॉल्ड अ सिंपल फ्रूट बट वेन ग्रुप ऑफ फ्लावर्स दैट इज क्लस्टर दैट इज होल इन फ्लोरसेंस इफ द होल इन फ्लोरसेंस ट्रांसफॉर्म्स इन टू अ फ्रूट देन दैट इज कॉल्ड एज कॉम्पोजिट फ्रूट सो वॉट इज कॉम्पोजिट फ्रूट वेन द होल इन फ्लोरसेंस beta transforms into fruit then that is called as composite fruit and there are two such types of composite fruit called cyconus and cerosus theek hai chalo now let's try to see the examples the first is walnut walnut is a droop it's a simple fruit it's not a composite fruit poppy simple fruit radish it is also a simple fruit so a simple fruit called silicua fig pineapple they both are composite fruit apple is also a simple fruit rather it's a false fruit and mulberry is also a composite fruit so how many composite fruits are there three so answer will become b for ball clear chalo next question cymos in florisons is present in so again before you answer the question let's try to understand what does this cymos in florisons means kya hota hai ye so kya hota hai cymos in florisons what is this now see beta when a flower is born in a floral axis this floral axis is called as peduncle right now this floral axis of the tip of the floral axis terminates into a flower and all the flowers are then born below it so this is the youngest flower or you can say this is the oldest flower and at the base there is a youngest flower now since the tip transforms into the flower so the growth of the floral axis is also limited so this type in florisons where flowers are arranged in basi petal succession and the tip transforms into a flower is known as cymos in florisons which is commonly observed in solanum 1 2 3 they all shows racemos type of in florisons so answer is c for cat right understood any confusion any doubts to anyone no shall we proceed further okay very good so my next question is which acha remember all these questions have been previously asked in some or the other neat examination so make sure that you are paying attention to all the questions you are listening to the ma'am very very carefully right okay so the next question is which of the following organisms is correctly matched with the three features now if you check out the four options over here you have to check out or you have to give the answer with respect to the plant whose all the three given characters are matching so first is p matter is a p c3 plant yes it's a c3 plant this is correct is it showing endospermic seed endospermic seed is a feature of monocots but p is a dicot and dicots have non endospermic seed so this feature is wrong hence one cannot be the answer second tomato tomato is a member of solanaceae family 
is it showing twisted estivation no no twisted estivation rather it shows valvate estivation what is valvate estivation when the petals and sepals they are present in cyclical manner such that none of their ends are overlapping so this is valvate estivation which is seen in tomato but not twisted plus exile berry remaining two are correct but since first is wrong so this cannot be the answer third onion onion shows underground stem modification in the form of bulb so this is correct imbridic estivation correct exile placentation correct so now all the three features are matching with respect to onion hence the answer will become c for cat clear understood everyone yes or no yes chalo very good so proceeding further now with the next question oh my god so many list is given and you have to select that which of the following shows marginal placentation to sabse pehle to beta hame first we have to understand that what is marginal placentation kya hota hai marginal placentation so basically beta marginal placentation means first of all what is placentation ye what is this this is basically the arrangement of ovules on the placenta there are five different types of placentation here the question is asked with respect to marginal placentation which means when the placenta is on the ventral such a such that the ovules are born in two alternate rows like you see in case of p correct so what is marginal placentation when the ovules are born attached to the ventral suture in two rows it's it is feature is seen in fabaceae family basically now let's try to analyze how many list is correct so first is mustard it it shows parietal placentation but not exile gram marginal tulip exile asparagus exile marginal marginal exile 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 correct moong pea marginal lupin marginal tobacco exile so how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 so answer becomes c just check this have you all understood that how ma'am has searched for marginal placentation if yes then let's proceed further with the next question next question says which of the following statement is correct now here are the four statements out of which three will be wrong one statement will be right and that right statement you have to select chalo let's read the first statement says flower of tulip is a modified shoot okay be it tulip or any flower see koi bhi flower ho be it any flower what is basically a flower how do you define it we all know that flower any flower is actually a, it's a, it's a line from ncert is actually a modified shoot what is flower flower is a modified shoot 
ठीक हाउ इफ यू नो द कॉन्सेप्ट बेटा द लीव्स दे सिंथेसाइज अ हॉर्मोन कॉल्ड फ्लोरिजन राइट नाउ दिस हॉर्मोन फ्लोरिजन it travels from the leaf and reaches to the tip this tip is right now shoot apical meristem but now as it it as it receives florigen now this shoot apical meristem transforms into floral apical meristem and instead of a leaf or a branch now from here a flower will be born so yes flower is a modified shoot this statement is right but let's not directly say the answer is one let's also go through the remaining three answers and analyze them in tomato fruit is a capsule no here fruit is a berry so this is wrong seeds of orchid have endosperm this is an exception orchid is a monocot but since this is an exception they have non endospermic seed so this statement becomes wrong placenta in primrose is not basal rather it is free central so answer becomes a clear okay oh wow simple question interesting question you have to identify the correct floral formula so the question on the screen is the correct floral formula of chili chili kis family ko belong karta hai absolutely correct it belongs to solanaceae family so you have learned basically four families brassicaceae fabaceae solanaceae and liliaceae out of which you have to identify the floral formula for solanaceae now before we look into the question before we look into the options let's try to find out the formula by ourselves and then we'll try to match it with the answer correct okay so when you write the floral formula the first thing you mention is about the symmetry so solanaceae they show actinomorphy which is radial symmetry then second thing you mention is about the sexuality so these are bisexual flowers followed by the the arrangement of their whorls from outer to inner so the outermost whorl is calyx represented by k how many sepals are there five are they fused or free so yes they are gamosepalous they are fused correct then comes the corolla how many five petals are they fused or free yes they are fused they are gamopetalous correct then with valvate estivation then comes the androecium how many stamens five one feature is seen that stamens are attached to their petals epipetalous condition so you will connect them with the help of a dome then g gynoecium two fused superior ovary so this is the exact formula for the chili the floral formula now match it with the options your answer will be c any confusion any doubts i don't think so any student must be having any doubt things must be absolutely clear and you know crystal clear in your mind if yes then let's proceed further with the next question a droop develops in so before you answer this question tell me beta what do you understand by droop what is droop for you kya hota hai droop so yes droop is a fruit it is a simple true fruit it's a simple true fruit yes or no that develops from 
मोनोकार्पलरी सिंकार्पस ओवरी द थ्री एग्जाम्पल्स फॉर ड्रूप विच यू हैव टू रिमेंबर इज मैंगो वॉलनट एंड कोकोनट द पिक्यूलियर फीचर इज दैट द एंडोकार्प इज हार्ड एंड स्टोनी क्लियर any confusion any doubts so the answer will become b for ball just check it out and see if you are having any confusion or any doubts tomato is basically a berry p is basically a capsule right yes or no right okay now proceeding further or sorry not capsule you can say it is a pod or basically you can say it's a legume okay chalo now let's proceed further with the next question flowers are zygomorphic in to yahan pe the question is asking you with respect to zygomorphy now what is the zygomorphy Zygomorphy, beta, also means bilateral symmetry. That means when a flower can be divided into two equal half from any one plane. Like in actinomorphy, like in radial symmetry, you see that you cut the flower from any of the axes, it will divide into two equal half from any of the axes. But not in case of bilateral symmetry. You can only obtain two equal half if you cut from any one plane. Clear? It is represented by percentage sign. The three example which you have to remember is P. gulmohar and cassia check it out gulmohar this is actinomorphic 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 check understood any confusion any doubts i'll repeat once again all these questions have been asked in the previous neat exams so please make sure that you listen to this lecture very very carefully lots of pain has been taken just to make sure that you all understand the questions easily and you never know if these questions only get repeated in future so if you pay attention you may get four or eight marks directly just by listening to the lecture right okay next question world simple leaves with reticulate venation is a feature of so first of all world means we are talking with respect to phyllotaxy now what is world phyllotaxy when from one node many leaves arises and they are arranged in this manner this is world phyllotaxy simple leaf means that either the margin of the leaf is smooth like this or the margin is having incision beta but incision is not touching the midrib correct reticulate venation means that when the veins and veinlet are arranged in criss cross manner like this in network manner which is face basically a feature of dicot so the answer becomes alstonia why because china rose shows alternate phyllotaxy wrong callotropis shows opposite phyllotaxy wrong and neem is a compound leaf so again wrong so answer becomes b for ball आ गया सबको समझ में हैव यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड दिस क्वेश्चन इफ यस देन लेट्स प्रोसीड विद द नेक्स्ट व्हिच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पेयर इज रॉन्गली मैच्ड विद द रिमेनिंग एंड द रिमेनिंग थ्री आर करेक्ट सो नाउ यू हैव टू हियर चूज द इनकरेक्ट वन बट नॉट द करेक्ट वन ब्रायोफाइलम करेक्ट 
yes they propagate vegetatively with the help of their buds that arises from the notches of the leaf agave right penicillium right but water hyacinth is not a runner it is offset so answer becomes d for dog clear any student who is having any confusion over here if not then let's proceed further to the next stems modified into flat green organs performing the function of leaves are known as okay so now before if i discuss this question are you all aware about the xerophytic plants like cactus now these are xerophytic plants where water is scarce as a result their leaves transform into spines so that there is no loss of water due to transpiration but there is a problem associated with it and what is that problem if leaves are transformed into spines then who will perform photosynthesis hence in them stem modifies into green fleshy structure to perform photosynthesis in order to perform photosynthesis the stem becomes juicy and like this oi yes somewhat like this and the leaves are reduced to spines and this modification is called as phylloclad clear in case of cactus phylloclads are flattened ठीक है got the answer now next the stem the standard petal of a papilionaceous papilionaceous means we are talking about fabaceae family is what now basically here we are talking about the restivation and they show vexillary restivation where out of the five petals i have just shown you in the first question the first question which i discussed was related to this only if you remember out of the five petals the largest posterior one which is called as standard the other name is vexillum it alternates the two lateral wings in return it alternates it, yeah it covers the two anterior most fused smallest keel also called as carina so answer here becomes d standard here is the question with respect to standard petal clear chalo next question again so you have again a list and from this list you have to choose that which plants have superior ovary so you have to simply choose which plants have superior ovary shall we start chalo okay so what first of all you should know what is superior ovary superior ovary beta it is also known as hypogynous ovary now what is hypogynous hypo means inferior superior means superior so what happens you know on the thalamus all the four walls are present suppose if ovary is at the top and all other walls are arising below it such that ovary becomes a superior and all other becomes all other four three remaining walls become inferior this is known as hypogynous ovary understood yes or no now let's check out the list china rose yes superior ovary 
mustard superior brinjal superior potato superior guava and cucumber inferior onion superior tulip superior so now how many 1 2 3 4 5 6 how many 6 check it once again by yourself and make sure that you have understood this question also china rose mustard brinjal potato onion tulip correct chalo agla sawal flowers are unisexual in to sabse pehle to bhai let's try to understand the term unisexual what is unisexual c either a flower is having male sex organ or female sex organ but not both correct yes or no a flower with male sex organ is called as staminate flower and the flower with the female sex organ is called as pistillate flower correct now onion is bisexual pea bisexual china rose bisexual but cucumber is a unisexual flower understood everyone any doubt still here are all the questions clear with their information given see like this not only you're solving questions but you're all but you're also getting an opportunity to revise the concepts so it's a very good method of revision next leaves become modified into spines in abhi bataya tha when i was teaching you cactus yes or no so what are these cactus beta basically these are xerophytic plants so the leaves are reduced into spines why to control loss of water due to transpiration the other name for cactus is opuntia any doubts and therefore for performing photosynthesis the stem modifies to form phylloclad any confusion just check it once and make sure that you have understood all the data given to you so far under matlab everything is absolutely crystal clear or not if yes coming to the next same question so two questions we have done again the same keel is the characteristic feature of which flower now what is keel keel is one of the petal of pea family which shows beta vexillary aestivation which shows yes vexillary aestivation you remember once again i'll show you largest lateral so these are the keel answer will become what the feature is of indigo fera as tomato belongs to solanaceae family tulip belongs to liliaceae family aloe vera also belongs to liliaceae family but this belongs to fabaceae family which is pea family check it out have you all understood the answer any doubts anyone no next perigynous flowers are found in 
so basically beta depending upon the position of ovary see last also i discussed this position of ovary depending upon this there are three types of flowers hypogynous epigynous and perigynous hypogynous i have already told you superior ovary epigynous means inferior ovary <coughs> sorry and perigynous means half inferior that means this is the thalamus right and such that all the whorls are arising from the same level such that neither ovary is superior nor inferior same level correct only three example you have to remember plum peach and rose so what is the example rose as guava and cucumber they are having inferior ovary and china rose is having superior ovary check everyone just go through the question and make sure you have understood it well any confusion any doubt you can ask me okay next question now the floral formula it's little bit not clear so i'll write it for you all again actinomorphy bisexuality k5 fused c5 fused a5 epipetalous condition g2 superior of course it is abhi kiya tha same question we did which floral formula is this whose family hmm yes solanaceae family and if you check out the answers brassica belongs to cruciferaceae family that is brassicaceae family alium belongs to liliaceae family petunia belongs to liliaceae family but sesbania belongs to solanaceae family hence uh, sorry yes yes petunia belongs to solanaceae family sesbania belongs to fabaceae family so answer will become d check it out theek hai ki nahi theek hai bhai yes ma'am it's absolutely correct okay now next question which of the following statement is correct now out of the four statements three will be wrong one will be correct and that correct statement will be your answer now first seeds in grass is not endospermic grasses beta they are monocots and if you remember in monocots the seeds have endosperm they are not and non endospermic this is wrong they have endosperm correct so first statement is wrong second mango is a parthenocarpic fruit beta parthenocarpic means a fruit which develops without fertilization but mango is a true fruit which develops with the fertilization of ovary galat ho gaya see a proteinaceous eluron layer is present in maize grain correct maize is a monocot plant in which a proteinaceous eluron layer separates the endosperm from the embryo and fourth is wrong because it is stamen so what will be the answer answer will become c is it clear to everyone any confusion no ma'am very good next an example of edible underground stem now you all know beta that stem when it shows modification it can show aerial 
सब एरियल स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन एंड अंडरग्राउंड स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन करेक्ट बेसिकली दिस अंडरग्राउंड स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन इज यूज टू स्टोर फूड एंड द बेस्ट एग्जाम्पल आर लाइक ट्यूबर बल्ब राइजोम एंड कॉम सो आउट ऑफ दिस द आंसर विल बी पटेटो विच इज अ ट्यूबर हाउ एवर इफ यू चेक आउट कैरेट इट इज अ रूट मॉडिफिकेशन इट्स दिस ग्राउंड नट इज अ फ्रूट इट्स नॉट अ स्टेम मॉडिफिकेशन एंड स्वीट पटेटो इज ऑल्सो अ रूट मॉडिफिकेशन सो हेयर आंसर बिकम्स डी होप यू ऑल अंडरस्टूड दिस नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन प्लासेंटा एंड पेरिकार्प आर बोथ एडिबल पोर्शन इन सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन शॉर्ट आस्किंग यू दैट विच फ्रूट डू यू ईट एज अ होल इन विच यू नॉट इवन रिमूव द कवर यू डोंट इवन रिमूव द सीड्स राधर यू आर ईटिंग द होल एज अ फ्रूट चेक टॉकिंग अबाउट एप्पल्स इन एप्पल्स यू रिमूव द कवरिंग यू रिमूव द एपिकार्प आर यू ईटिंग द एंटायर फ्रूट नो banana you remove the pericarp you only eat the remaining portion of the fruit no same potato also you remove the carp ep epicarp so answer becomes tomato in tomatoes do you have to remove the epicarp do you have to remove the seeds no you you take the tomato wash it even if you don't want to wash it eat it as a whole so answer becomes c tomato understood everyone any confusion any doubts no ma'am shall ma'am proceed further yes very good chalo agla sawal which of the when the margins of sepals and petals are overlapping without any regular directions now this actually it's talking about aestivation what is aestivation arrangement of sepals and petals with respect to the other members of the same whorl respect to the members of same whorl clear now there is one valvate imbricate vexillary and twisted aestivation vexillary do you all have seen it valvate also i have shown you but what happens in imbricate see all the petals are overlapping but there is no regular manner any petal is overlapping any petal any petal is getting overlapped any where there is no regular pattern so this type of aestivation is imbricate so here answer will be b for ball clear yes chalo agla sawal an aggregate fruit is the one which develops from now what is an aggregate fruit see basically beta fruits are of two types simple fruit and aggregate fruit simple fruit are the fruits which develop from either one carpel or even if there are more than one carpel then all they are fused syncarpous condition but what happens in aggregate fruit in aggregate fruits beta the fruit develops from more than one carpel and all those carpels are free free means apocarpus so answer becomes b for ball like for example raspberry any doubts any confusion 
just check it once and leave it and then if you just understand it well then we will proceed further okay next non albuminous seeds are produced in non albuminous means non endospermic non albuminous ka matlab kya hota hai non endospermic seeds so basically beta depending upon the presence or absence of endosperm there are two types of seeds dicot seeds and monocot seeds in dicot beta there is no endosperm but in monocots endosperm found there is one exception and that exception is orchid here the exception is castor now check it out so answer will become p castor is a dicot but it's endospermic clear any confusion anyone just check the question once just check it if you understand it then ma'am will further proceed to the next question seed coat is not thin and membranous in so simple answer just remember it a coconut otherwise the seed coat is thin and membranous next question okay so you have so many list and from the list you have to choose the plants which have superior ovary hypogynous means superior ovary kare shuru kare okay bitter gourd no superior ovary mustard superior ovary brinjal superior pumpkin no china rose superior superior inferior ovary sun hemp superior superior guava inferior bean superior superior half inferior superior superior half inferior superior s s s s chalo ma'am has made the list count the number and tell me the answer okay everyone just do it tell me the answer count the total number and let me know how many of them are having superior or hypogynous ovary where ovary is at the top and all of the three worlds are arising from the base of it karo counting chalo let me see how many of you are able to count it is it 10 15 18 or 6 so yes answer is b 15 see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 sorry 15 are there 1 okay 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 okay okay agla question in china rose the flowers are so basically in china rose first of all if i talk in terms of symmetry then china rose are actinomorphic that means they can be divided into two equal half from any plane second they show superior ovary that means ovary is at the top and all the three worlds are arising below it and third they show twisted estivation what is twisted estivation when all the worlds are overlapping in a regular 
manner such that one end inside another end outside so actino hypo twisted as china rose it's a feature of family malvasi it's a typical feature of the family malvasi clear chalo next question placentation in tomato and lemon is so in tomato and lemon the type of placentation is exile marginal you see in case of p parietal you see in case of mustard and argimone free central you see in case of dianthus and primrose so answer is b exile means when the ovary is divided into so many chambers called locules and ovules are born in the center right chalo agla sawal how many among them shows different length of their stamens so this is called as basically different length in stamen just remember there are three families which you have to remember the name brassicaceae lamiaceae and one more example you can learn which is given in ncert that is salvia okay now check indigofera no yes sorry no yes no no yes mustard brassicaceae groundnut no radish brassicaceae gram no turnip brassicaceae so how many 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 this simply means when the filament length is not same usually we see if there are five stamens then all the filament length is same but in case of brassicaceae and liliaceae the filament length of the stamen are different correct okay next question radial symmetry means a flower which can be divided into two equal half from any plane also called as actinomorphy and this is seen in case of brassica mustard remaining all three they show zygomorphic symmetry correct yes agla sawal free central placentation free central means what beta when ovules are born freely on the central axis like this If suppose this is ovary wall this is ovary then ovules are born freely the two examples are dianthus and primrose otherwise argimone shows parietal placentation brassica also shows parietal placentation citrus like lemon shows exile placentation correct check it once again if you all have understood yes agar ha to chalo bhai agle sawal pe aa jao okay you have to match it pistil fuse together means syncarpus formation of gamete is gametogenesis higher fungi of ascomycete shows n plus n that is dicaryotic phase unisexual flowers are seen that is for example pistillate now if you match a3 d is the answer any doubts chalo read the next question hmm everyone read it cotyledon of maize grain is called this is a maize grain it is having a distinct endosperm and an embryo both are separated with the help of an aluron layer this one 
endosperm this is the embryo and this is actually the overall embryo having one cotyledon which is called plimule sorry scutellum plimule from where the shoot axis arises it is protected by coleoptile and coleoriza protects the root that is radical agla tricarpillary syncarpus gynosium is found in case of lily ac family onion tulip lily aloe vera next which of the following is not a stem modification flattened structures of opuntia phylloclade yes picture of nepenthes beta it's a leaf modification thorns of citrus tendrils of cucumber so answer becomes b for ball go through it check it once everyone chalo read the next question and this is the last question come on everyone answer it let's see who answers this last question the term poly poly means many adelphus means bundles so kis mein bahut sare bundles of stamen so this polyadelphus term is associated with androsium so answer becomes b in that case hope you all have enjoyed this quick q and a session it is like of morphology complete revision like this for every chapter some 50 questions will be brought and uh, you know they will make to, they will be solved over here like this when we solve the questions and when we try to answer them then not only we get to know the correct answer but we also come to know that why this is the answer and why remaining three options are not so please keep working hard and uh, yes there's less time left for uh, this neat examination till then we will be always connected with you and i just hope that you also stay connected with us and uh, keep yourself motivated and uh, motivation is the only thing which will lead to your success along with the hard work so thank you for watching me see you in the next lecture bye bye everyone take care